reading is fundamental. What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? This is DeWitt Scott, and I'm here with a book review. That's what I do. That's what I do, man. I do book reviews, big bibliophile deep into the books. So I like to shoot videos and get book reviews on books that I feel that are, are really good books and books that are important. And in this video, I'm giving a book review for a book titled The Little Book of Common Sense Investing by John C. Bocal. And The Little Book of Common Sense Investing is a book that I read not too long ago that I really enjoyed for the simple fact of that it gives some very basic, straightforward information for investors people who are investing in the stock market, investing in public companies. And right now, specifically since uh, the, the, the start of the pandemic, so sort of investing in the stock market, uh, buying shares in companies on the stock market has become a very popular thing. One of the more popular companies that popped up in the past few years, Robinhood, other companies similar to Robinhood, like E-Trade, TD Ameritrade, Charles Schwab, Vanguard. All of these companies have brokerage accounts that allow people to buy shares in public companies. Public companies like Apple or Microsoft or Nike or Comcast or whatever it is that, that, that may come to mind. Typically when you're just out and about living your life, McDonald's and whatnot. And although investing has been around for over two, the stock market has been around for over 200 years. The issue has become with social media and so many other available now, there's a lot more talk and a lot more chatter about what to do when it comes to investing. And everyone is talking and not everyone is giving sound advice. So this particular book by John C. Bogle is a book written by a seasoned long-term investor who has seen the ups and downs of the market and who has lived the life of an investor for a very long time. And I think what's really great about this book is that the simple straightforward solution that John Bogle gives is something that's preached by many long-term successful investors like a Warren Buffett, a Charlie Munger, Peter Lynch, and the like, right? So typically when people want to invest, they want to get into these hot companies, these new companies, or these really fashionable companies and say, I'm going to ride this wave up. I'm going to buy however many shares, put however much money I can into it, and then I'm going to ride these shares up and I'm rich quickly. And what Bogle says is that the stock market and investing is about valuing businesses properly and uh, buy and hold long-term asset appreciation gain. And what that means is it is not a quick flip. It's about getting your money in there and buying long-term. The key according to Bogle and what he writes in his book is not necessarily to get the hot new companies or the companies that's supposed to be up and on, on the rise, but to get a low cost index fund particularly the S&P 5. So all my investors out there who pretty much understand the basis of the market that there are index funds that you can buy. And once you buy into an index fund, you buy pretty much the whole market or you buy all the companies in the index fund. In this book, John Bogle gives concrete evidence of why buying the S&P 500, holding on to the S&P 500 for a very long time will always make an investor successful because what you're doing with the S&P 500 is you're buying the 500 largest companies in America. So you are essentially buying the American business uh, class, American uh, markets. So you're buying what is essentially making up the, the companies that make up the market. As long as you make up, you buy the companies that make up the market, you, you won't lose, right? You won't, wherever the market goes, that's where your investment will go. And for those of you all who are deep into investing, you understand the need to rebalance your portfolio, right? If you have a portfolio of stocks, if I have six stocks, 10 stocks, 12 stocks in my portfolio, when their prices fluctuate, you may want to rebalance your portfolio, take some shares out of here, put some shares there. And the thing about buying the S&P 500 index is that the, the people who control the index, they rebalance the portfolio for you, right? You never have to rebalance the portfolio. That's a very big, important point if you're thinking about investing long-term and taking the, 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 the hard work out of it. So as, again, Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger, Bogle, and many others say, buy a low-cost index fund, hold it 50 years or 60 years. And that's what this book is about. Each chapter shows different ways in which going against the S&P 500 or going against this specific set of advice does not work, right? Whether it's mutual funds, whether it is um, doing it yourself, whether it is 
paying others to do it or, or whatever it may be. After you get done with your expense ratios and all these other fees that come, you very rarely do you have anybody or any company or any mutual fund that can beat the S&P 500. So that's, I think that's very key. It's a very short read and a quick read. In my opinion, I will say, I think it is a little, just a slightly redundant because the entire book is about buying the S&P 500 and nothing else. And he's just find, finding each chapter, he finds more creative and clever ways to just say that you need to buy the S&P 500. So I think within the first few chapters, you get the point, he drives the point home. But again, it can never be oversimplified when it comes to investing in the stock market. Myself, I love the stock market. I've been in love with the stock market for a long time, long term investor, buying and hold. And I believe in the idea of buying low cost index funds and ETFs in a lot of instances, but buying low cost index funds, holding those index funds and letting the index fund do the work for you. You may supplement it with some other things, but holding the index fund is, should be the foundation of a particular portfolio. So again, it's the little book, Common Sense Investing by John C. Bogle. I think that it is a very good book for those who are beginning investors, right? If you're new to the market, you've been in the market for just for a short amount of time, or you're thinking about getting into the market, I think this is a first step sort of book, a great way for you to start. Uh, so check it out, read the contents, think about what Bogle is saying, study Bogle's background, compare it to that other master investors and see what you like about it. But I, me personally, I think that the advice is sound and I will recommend anyone who wants to get into the market or at least learn about the basics of the stock market, study the book, get into the S&P 500 and let the money, let the market do what it does. The Common Sense Book of Low Cost, I'm sorry, The Common Sense Book, Common Sense, uh, The Little Book of Common Sense Investing by John C. Bogles. Check it out. Reading, Reading is fundamental. fundamental. fundamental.